Secretary General of FEBEA, and FEBEA is the European Federation of Ethical Banks and Alternative Financiers. And what's FEBEA's role in ethical finance? FEBEA is a representative organization. This means that, like any other sector in the economy or in society, there is an organization in Brussels that represents this specific sector towards the European institutions. So this means we represent ethical banks and financiers in Brussels and in Europe, mainly uh, towards the European institutions, the European Commission, the European Parliament and other, uh, other let's say, players here in Brussels. So our role is basically promoting ethical finance, our role is explaining what it is, our role is also communicating about it, making it known, mostly at an institutional level, but also sometimes, uh, let's say, directing our communication towards normal people like you. Uh, which are the main challenges of ethical finance in Europe right now? So, Ethical finance has known a quite healthy and, let's say, constant growth since the beginning. Most, most of the ethical financiers started their activity somewhere between 30 and 40 years ago. So today they are a relatively mature organization, which have gone through a number of phases in growth, etc. etc. So they were well stable and, let's say, well, well, well developed. The challenge they have probably is that a solution that was directly thought to provide funding from, let's say, citizens to the third sector, to associations, cooperatives, etc., um, has been very successful. And probably at the same time, most normal people on the street have never heard about it. And I think the real challenge that we have is connecting this reality that when, once you get to see it from close, is very, very interesting. Um, and it's very, very up to date, you know, it's actually dealing with many of our problems. It is mostly unknown to my family, to my neighbors, to, 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 to most of the people around me. When I tell them what I do, I say, but does this exist? But what is this about? Can I really trust it? So I think we have to make an effort to go beyond our normal, let's say, circle of people we would talk to, get out of our comfort zone and explain much more to to the everyday citizen that they have a, a part to play in the financial sector and that an ethical financier it actually allows them to play that part and allow them to make sure that their money is used to build a better society. And from your point of view, what could be done to link European youth to ethical finance? Many of the members that we have in our federation actually started out of campaigns for example, one of the members in Belgium started out of a campaign against apartheid back in the 80s. Others started as a, as a result of campaigning in favor of uh, climate. Others started in, in favor of, uh, of fighting injustices. So at the time, most of the, let's say, founders of the legal finance were young people who wanted to change the situation in which they found themselves in. And probably today, these people have, let's say, aged. <laughs> they start to have white hair like me. And, um, and we need to engage sort of the next generation of people who also have challenges in their society they want to change and help them make the connection that ethical finance can be one of the tools to change the things society they don't want and to sort of build the future they want. So we do need this young generation to engage and probably we need to update a little bit our, our messages or, or, or make an extra effort to connect with them because mainly they are unaware and we are also facing a very digital world in which um, everything goes through apps, through phones, through Instagrams, through whatever, TikTok, I don't even know all the, all the acronyms and this new generation is very much digitally savvy and we are still sort of communicating for boomers. So, so I think part of the problem is on us to make sure that we are getting our message across to, to, to young people more and more. And we need to sort of multiply our efforts to be present in universities, to be present in the places where young people that are engaged societally or politically um, uh, need to hear about us. So we need to sort of get out of our offices, get out of our banks, get out of our comfort zone and go, on, go out to meet these people and let them know that what we do is actually something that interests them and make them aware that they can actually participate.
So the onus is partly on us and probably I think we need to just keep preaching the good message to people who never heard of this and when they found out they actually realized that many of the solutions they are looking for have already been developed before. We just need to sort of grab them. Thank you.